One of the reasons internet enterprises have succeeded is because they don't keep an inventory and they don't make goods themselves. Companies like Amazon.com and BigSave.com are such companies. Well, one company called MegaAge.com thinks differently. Not only does it sell tennis rackets online, it actually makes them. Let's find out more with its founder, Richard Farley. Richard, you've got an online business and a factory. Why so? Pretty well. Um, I got annoyed at the markups on sporting goods. So I'm a tennis fan, and uh, my friend Pat Cashew is obviously a good tennis player. The 1987 and Wimbledon uh, <laughs> champion there, right? Yeah, yeah, and found out, you know, just discussions, I live in Monaco and discussions with tennis players there, basically heard of it about tennis rackets costing $20 to make and selling good quality tennis rackets costing $20 to make and selling for $200. Now, I don't see why that's necessary. So as a, as, as a venture, I decided to start a company on the internet which would keep the prices down, uh, where we sell them basically at cost price. And so we're manufacturing our own rackets, which have been specified by Pat, and which are not all that different to the best-selling rackets, and selling them at cost price. So selling them for 30 bucks on the, on the internet. Where can you make them for 30 bucks? They're made in China, but they're made by, you know, our, 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 we use the factory that also makes for very large manufacturers and very large sellers of tennis rackets. So it's a, there's no difference in the production technique. And, you know, we get the highest standards that way. Well, let's ask the tennis pro, what do you think of these rackets? I mean, how do they compare to uh, what's out there? Well, I mean, the crucial thing for me was when Richard came with me and said, I'm selling this racket for 30 bucks over the internet. I just said, well, it's got to be a load of rubbish. But, uh, I mean, that's why I was brought in. And it, it clearly is uh, as good or better than any racket I've ever played with. And there's absolutely no doubts about that. Uh, the, the graphite is better. They're made exactly the same way, same manufacturing as, as the top brands. The tennis balls are exactly the same. They're, they're made by uh, the, exactly the same way as, as the top world's top selling balls. And, uh, you know, it's a, that's what I've been in, brought into it, so to sort of, in a way, give it credibility. Because when you hear about a $30 tennis racket, you immediately think, well, it's going to break in a couple of minutes. But that's not the case. And that's so you've why actually used this to play then? On the yeah, game. I play. I play with it all the time. I mean, that, that, this is my racket. And, and you'll find that, um, well, I've certainly found that. This racket is, is virtually the same as what you'll see on the circuit from many, many players. So essentially you're paying for the same racket but without the brand name expense. Exactly, right. exactly. And you know, I think that you know, the, the future for things like tennis rackets, which you don't need necessarily to see before you buy, the future is the internet. What else do you plan on selling on this site? Well, as Pat mentioned, we're doing tennis balls. And we can't quite get the same discount on tennis balls, but I think we'll be able to bring, them, bring absolute top quality balls out for half the price that they sell in the shops. And the big exciting thing is that you know we're just about to do these soccer balls, which sell. This is basically as good as the so soccer ball used in the World Cup. So it's absolute top quality because I'm not interested in doing anything else. And we'll be able to sell this for 15. I think, hopefully, around about 15 bucks on the website, whereas in the shop, I mean, you probably know better than I do what they sell here in the UK, but up towards 80 bucks. When you say bucks, is that pounds or dollars? Sorry. Dollars for me, right, okay. <laughs> so 50 quid, right. say 50 quid, and we'll be out, you know, under 10 with a bit of luck, mm -hmm. somewhere like that, and absolute top quality. And you know, the the team in soccer that I had to test it liked it so much that they're our, that's our first order. So and it's FIFA approved as well. And it's these are these are top, quality, absolutely right? top, world class standard equipment that has just been reduced. Well, that's the thing about the internet; it's just flattening prices, isn't it? Mm. Yeah. You've also invested in a bunch of other companies. Can you tell us? Some oh yeah, well, really, really to me, this is a this is a crusade. So. How I'm going to make money out of this, if I make money out of this, is unclear because, as I said, it's at cost price. Um, I really invest in technology in the UK because the UK is underfunded relative to the US. Which companies have you invested in? in um, well, a lot. There's, there's particularly companies out of Oxford. You know, so there's Embedded Solutions Limited, which, which are really exciting. It could be the future of all sort of techno, you know, technological products where they can be pro you can actually have a telephone which is reprogrammed. Into a, t into a little TV set which is reprogrammed into, into a GPS because the chip inside it can be reprogrammed. So I've got sort of core technology. Because for me the internet's very exciting, but I'm, not, I'm a bit worried about the valuations on the internet. I'm more interested in getting into the, into the enabling technology, which will, you know, I've got another company called PowerX, which will help with you know, bandwidth on, on uh, the communications. Very good question before we go. What happens when the big players come in and do the same thing? On the tennis rackets? Mm -hmm. I'm going to give away half a million dollars worth of stuff. That's our battle, is to get the stuff out there so people can see how good it really is. Uh, so at this price, they'll go broke if they try to do the same thing. Well, we'll so they're, not as gen they're not as generous as me. <laughs> right. <laughs> well, check out at megaage.com. Richard, thanks for being here. Pat, thanks very much for yeah.